we're back with the Heroes Premier League week six, week six in Europe. And um, yeah, our next match is starting. Playing with Pain versus Team Prison. And we're already in draft, so let's get started. Oh, first ban is Tyrael by Playing with Pain. And the ban for Team Prism, Tassadar. Regular bans. Yeah. I like Quite standard. Uh, Tyke is pretty standard as well. Uh, they can go for a lot of combos now. <laughs> really fast picking here, I like it. Yeah, um, Tychus, uh, first first pick here for playing with Pain. And Arthas alongside Anoop for Team Prison. Yeah, so they already took uh, two uh, tanks, yeah. and since Tyrell has been banned by PPP, they have to go for uh, like um, Shen or something like this. Okay. Um, well, since they already got Arthas and and Anoop, yeah. Mm, who do you think another possibility would be here? Because I don't. I don't think that uh, Shen is quite up there um, with the rest of these heroes. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't think so too. But um, if you, I think he is. He has still a place uh, in being viable. Uh, another choice would be um, Sonya, for example. But mm -hmm. she isn't really that kind of a tank who can absorb incredible and uh, in incredible amount of damage. So, more kind of, yeah. Kind she gets of stronger later on, though. Uh, especially with uh, Resurgent of the Storm, uh, she gets really strong. Well, we do have Uther and Rainer picked uh, for playing with Pain. So, I'm, I'm really waiting on, on their good initiate here. Oh, and Rega and Falstad. Or Prism. Yeah, Rega is... Um quite obvious to be honest because yeah. they of course don't want uh, PvP to, to go for the uh, Bloodlust combo which would be really uh, strong with Raynor and, uh, and Tychus, yeah. Tychus, yeah. So we're gonna see Brightwing out of playing with Pain uh, I guess. Maybe, well maybe Malfurion because um, what? Okay. Um, Oh, never mind. <laughs> I totally forgot about Uther right Ooh, there. Ooh, and I totally forgot about Stitches. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can go for Stitches. Yeah, um, Stitches works, of course, and uh, Zero Tool to top it off. Okay. We got Aberthur as the final pick for Team Prism. That's uh, a little bit unusual. Uh, but then again... Hmm... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too sure what to make of this uh, for Prism. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure as well, because uh, he normally has to um, duplicate uh, Falstead, and Falstead uh, doesn't really go with Bloodlust, so I'm quite sure they're gonna go for Ancestral Healing on uh, Rega. Mm -hmm. Just trying uh, to have as much sustain as possible, and then dishing out a lot of damage with uh, double Falstead. Okay. Well, maybe we'll see a double Rega and get, get double the uh, double, double the blood or double <laughs> bloodlust or double the ancestral healing. I don't even think double bloodlust works or it stacks. Oh, but uh, no. Uh, I mean that that would be pretty amazing. If it did. <laughs> um, our first map is going to be Cursed Hollow. Quite go good go here uh, from Team Prison uh, with Falstead. Yeah. Because we, re we really have to jump around a lot with the tribute spawning, and you can easily gr uh, grab it. Yeah, and then then again, if you if you double if you have a double Falstead, uh, that makes it so much easier. Yeah, and Falstead is quite good as well because there are a lot of chokes uh, where the team fights normally happen. Obviously, around the, uh, the tributes and uh, shock and awe gets really strong there. But on the other hand, Uther is ridiculously strong as well on this map. Uh, of course, he's strong in general, but especially on this map, uh, he can do a lot. All right, uh, let's get started here on Cursed Hollow. Um, should be loading in here any second. 
there it is. There it is. And our team blue is Lane with Pain. And they have Tacita, Stitches, Reyna, Tychus, and Uther in the top lane. On the right side we have our red team with Abathur, Arthas, Anubarak, uh, Rhaegar, and Felstad in the bottom lane. So looks like they're uh, kind of missing out on the top lane for now. Yeah, maybe uh, okay, Anubarak is, go is going there. I don't think um, Prism will uh, try to get an early engage because always uh, you normally don't want to go for an early engage if you're playing against Stitches. He's just so good. Yeah. Uh, if you hook someone, he basically is that. Yeah, he, he's extremely dangerous, uh, especially early on. Um, if you don't watch out, and well, you gotta you gotta watch out with him. Oh, we have a little um, little vision there um, given out by Avatar. Yeah, uh, nice mind there, scouting pain and dealing a little bit of damage already. And Hysterica has to be a little bit careful here, but I think he's staying back uh, enough, so Tangra won't be able to get in uh, a route here. Yeah, uh, good tumors or uh, uh, good visions by these mines for Abathur. Yeah, it looks and like, uh, yeah, Falset won't have any problem at all. And uh, PvP is going for the easy camp now. Oh no, and they are defensive. I think that's the right call here. Yeah, at least they grab the watchtower. Um, Abathur, uh, Arthur, Arthur will already recapture that. And we have a nice little distribution on the lanes, so um, no experience missed so far. Um, yeah, I think playing with Pain is a little bit ahead uh, in the XP. Maybe because early on uh, we did have a, a noob missing there for a sec, maybe. Yeah. Uh, both teams are just going uh, for the easy camps right now. Uh, pretty st standard against um, yeah, those lanes because they are not likely to get ganked and both the teams playing quite defensively on lane. Yeah, Office is taking a lot of damage at going for this easy camp. Now he's being supported uh, by Abathur. Maybe a little bit late, but he can go for the healing well uh, if he really wants to. Um, or before any, any big engagement he should at least. Um, Unless Rhaegar gets in there to give him a heal beforehand. Yeah, oh, maybe yeah, Rhaegar gets up. Yeah, but he's too close to the gate, and of course he has the minions up front, so he should be fine. He should be fine. At least not overextend or anything. Uh, now we have uh, the Siege Temp camp already pushing bottom. So oh, that's, that's an amazing timing here, uh, Luvi going uh, to support that siege camp and now everyone for playing with pain can just move into position uh, to get a good nice grab on that tribute. Yeah, and uh. Sitch is there as well, so he might be able to grab Rhaegar, really nice, but no follow up over there. Yeah, Arthas is moving in, nice stun there on Tychus, can he get another hold? No. There comes the stun by Uther. And looks like Arthas has to move back for now. Everyone is moving back. Oh, Hook's missing Arthas just by a sack there. Yeah. And looks like they have to retreat for now. Yeah, Pain is really low. He shouldn't engage too much now. And, and they oh. always try to grab the tribute. I feel like it's not really safe yet. Uh, there's a stun on Arthas and he's taking a lot of damage and is taken out. Felsit needs to watch out now with everyone moving in. Tychus, Reyna and... Zeratul tries to grab the tribute, but there's the interrupt. But it looks like they will get the first tribute here. Yeah. Meanwhile, we had Abathur being on bot lane, pushing hard. And I think that's the exact right uh, choice here for him. Oh. Yeah, they're already out of ammo, so uh, he's going to take out this this gate. Everyone's moving down, but it's going to be a little bit too late. I think at least the gate should fall here. But uh, Abathur needs to watch out. He's in a lot of trouble if, if he gets spotted here. Yeah, um, hard camp now being taken by PPP, quite standard there. They don't have that much to do, but uh, meanwhile the bottom lane is uncontested here from PPP. So, as you just said, they will probably lose the gate. Yeah, 
one of the towers uh, had a little bit of ammo again, but I think now that the hard mobs are moving in, the hard camp is moving in uh, top, they have the time to deal with this uh, on bottom. Oh, uh, Rainer is moving away again, so maybe they do have the time to just take out this gate. And they're pushing it really hard here with Falstad. But the next tribute, tribute is incoming. This time around, Team Prism is in position. Oh, Rega trying to get the move on here on uh, Zero Tool. Brilliant and job, nice pull on Arthas. Can they get him? Oh, he might get away though. He has Abathur on his back. Yeah, and a really nice time now for the hard camp to be pushing for PPP. So they lay even more pressure down. Good hook again, but uh, Anoop gets away with the deep dive. But now they're really, really split up. Anoop can't really engage without endangering himself too much. So he needs to get out there and I think they're not going to take this tribute as well. Um, otherwise, they'll lose the team fight. Yeah, they should just it, uh, retreat now, maybe. But th they're doing a good job trying to uh, to stop the the capturing of the tribute. And now, uh, now playing with pain is also a little bit um, split up here. And yeah, they do, they're managing this really well. But it looks like Uther can get the final up there. Uh, maybe Felsod is moving in, and they're seeing the rough just in time. Can he get away though? Ooh, nice stun, getting uh, getting Zero to a pretty low. Wow. Well, not quite killing him. Really nice kill here on Arthas. Uh, his Herka being so low on the Tigers, but uh, still managing to get away. Ooh, Felsit is moving in from the bottom, but he gets... Oh, no, he's trapped. He's trapped. And Zeratul takes him out. And now, uh, 5v3, I think they can finally take that tribute. And maybe even lower up the hard camp here, but that's a little bit dangerous. Maybe not going for that. But uh, as we just saw, uh, PP, uh, PPP was down in experience a little bit, and they are now as well. Just because of Avatar stayed on the bottom lane, it's incredible how much uh, he can help out over there. Yeah, and um, I think uh, in the in the meantime, he's also switched uh, to some of these heroes. He was on Noob and Arthas uh, every once in a while. Oh, nice stun here on Uther, but uh, without the follow up, of course, uh, he's no no real danger. We already have parts of the wall missing here, on, on the top lane. Yeah, and Prism is gonna get a uh, level 10 soon now, even grabbing the easy camp now. And maybe Rega is gonna go for the hard camp together with Arthas. Uh, might be a good option for them, but then they lose uh, the opportunity to fight a uh, 10 versus 9 fight. Oh, wow, that was pretty close here for <laughs> Abathur. Uh, he was safe behind those minions, but I mean, with Raynor he could have easily pushed them out of there. Now we have the easy camp uh, defending here on the bot lane as well, so Abifer has an easy time to stop this. And, oh wow, Pain with Pain already going for the boss. Yeah, uh, and they got a perfect position here on the tribute. They won't have any uh, problems whatsoever now to get the tribute, and that with the curse, together yeah. with the boss, incredible pushing power. Yeah, that, that's just amazing. Uh, I mean, the boss is just going to take on the whole bottom lane by himself. Um, they're going to have no trouble getting the tribute, and the only right choice here uh, for Prism is of course also going for the boss just to give a little bit of an edge uh, on their top lane to, I don't know, counter push a little bit here. Um, that's really the only way to stop this, but uh, looks like Pain with Pain is incoming here on the middle lane. Yeah, But they did get the boss. Yeah, and it looks like the bottom fort is gonna fall if, uh, Empire, uh, if Prism doesn't defend. And the oh, and they're moving in. They're moving in from the right side, but it's 5v3. Uh, they're still... Yeah, they're still missing someone here. Yeah, and Nubarak wasn't there. And now Luvi joins the frame. Well, they did push him back for now. Now Anub is there. And they're just waiting uh, waiting for the, for the initiate here. And there it comes. Nice initiate. Anub is moving in, but he's getting a lot of damage dealt. There's the healing. And really good healing, but there comes the... Uh, there comes the CC from Uther, and a noob is taken out with a noob. Without uh, without a noob, they definitely have to retreat. Yeah. And meanwhile, the bottom fort fall, and um, yeah, the golem was just so good pushing, and now PVP is gonna defend the top golem. I think. Oh no, they don't even have to, but they're gonna go for it. And now they are already two levels ahead. Um, so really nice engages here for yeah, the PPP. timing. Just worked out so well. Um, as you pointed out, I mean, they, they grabbed the boss just in time for the third tribute, and then, I mean, they got a little bit lucky with uh, with the tribute spawning, of course, because it, it all just worked out also well. Um, the boss, they got they got the boss and then just turned back for the tribute. Um, now they're going for the hard camp. 
just to add, add a little bit of insult to that. Yeah, they, they'll be able to push middle after this. So, yeah, quite solid gaming here from PPP. And, yeah, not really that much to do for Prism now. They obviously have to defend the upcoming camps. Yeah, Noob's just uh, um, trying to take the top lane by himself. Uh, we have Abatha up there as well. He's a little bit exposed, and Noob is exposed as well. And there comes the Initiate and the stun. Noob just goes down so quickly. And now they're just going to make the follow-up happen here on the top lane, uh, taking out this fort with no real repercussions. I mean, uh, looks like Team Prison might be trying to save it. Uh, no, they're retreating. They know it's gone. They don't have the power without a Noob. Um, to go in there. Yeah. I mean, they're really, really dependent on that on that line stun by Noob. Uh, and we see again uh, Abathe being on the bottom lane. I think he even used promote. Wow. Yeah. He gone uh, for promote on level four. Interesting talent, but uh, really nice at pushing. Yeah, they. Well, I think they have a lot of minions now to uh, probably take on this fort. But at the same time, wow, massive fight up here. There's the heroic advice arrow tool and catching everyone. Arthas is the first one to fall. Anoop also getting a lot of damage, but there comes the ancestral healing. Anoop, um, Anoop Copy is moving in. He's taken out. And now they're staying back. They definitely have to stay back. There's another line stun, but not getting anyone there. And with the easy camp, they're going to have an easy time to also push up. Push down this uh, top lane. Yeah, even Udin top now. Um, so, it, best fort uh, will definitely fall. Really nice engage here by um, Anubarak, but not enough follow up, obviously. Oh, really? Nice hook here. Really <laughs> amazing hook. And he gets him, moves him back, and Felset is taken out. And uh, yeah, now they don't have any uh, any power to stop this. But uh, looks like they're gonna retreat, grab the tribute instead. So I think that uh, Team Prism got a little bit lucky here um, that they finally have uh, the time to uh, grab their easy camp and also not get totally death pushed on the top lane. Yeah. Meanwhile, we had Abathur uh, killing the bottom fort. So quite nice done. Quite nicely done. Uh, yeah, and he knows that he's really exposed up there, so he just teleported back uh, towards the Nexus. And we have uh, the hard camp pushing in the middle now. Yeah, so much map control now by PPP. They can just creep wherever they want. Yeah, they're gonna go for their own boss now. And then um, they already have one tribute, so probably just grab the boss now, put on a little bit of pressure, and then um, once they do get, grab these other tributes, since they know, okay, uh, Prism has to deal with the with the boss first, they probably have the upper hand in grabbing the tribute, and then just go for the third tribute, and um, do the final push with the third tribute. Uh, it even looked like uh, PvP wants uh, to get an ambush now on Prism when they try to gank them here at the boss. Uh, but the boss is, boss is already grabbed, and whoa, nice job! But Uther goes down. In that fight, getting off another hero, but not quite catching the other heroes here. Noob falls. Falset tries to engage Raynor there, but he's all by himself. Tychus moves in, and he pushes him back. And Noob is caught in between everyone here. Yeah, but it's so only the get away. It's not the real one. Oh no, it was the real one. Oh, was it? No, it, uh, the real one died before. So. Yeah, he, he went down beforehand. But now everyone is on retreat. Uh, Arthas might actually get away with ancestral healing. Oh no, but he gets stunned just as he tries to mount up. And now Zeratu can probably take him out. Oh, quite a little bit missing the hook there. He got away. Amazing heal here by uh, Thunder. And now they do have the time to finally take that boss. So the idea here by, by Team Prism was actually really, um, really good. Grabbing them while they're still occupied with the, bo uh, with the boss. Yeah, but uh, PPP already um, thought they, they will go for this. And they didn't uh, exercise it uh, completely right, I think. But at least they didn't stand like totally out of position when they got ganked there. Since we have a lot of people asking in chat, uh, why are they even taking Abathur? 
I do have to give props to Abathur. I think he's doing a really good job pushing these uh, top and bottom lanes. And without them, without him, I think they would have uh, lost the experience game here already. But um, with him bringing all these uh, all these forts, I think they're still doing good. Yeah, that's surprising. They're still in the game. Um, they just grabbed the boss, so they're gonna push hard on top, um, or just let the boss push. And then uh, probably uh, split push somewhere else, maybe stop the boss <laughs> beforehand. Otherwise, uh, they might lose this bottom fort here in their in their main base. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, it's ten against one kills, and still only half a level at the moment. So yeah, the next tribute spawning on. On the blue team's side, so playing with pain. Uh, if they if they get there in time, and they should be there a little bit early. But oh no, we have we have a noob moving in. Maybe if he can get in a good position to set up the line stun, and that would be a good position right there. Uh, oh, we already have the to moving in, but he knows what's up. And there comes the stun. Arthas moves in on the left side. They kind of split up a little bit here, and another deep dive by the copy. And another good stun, taking out Stitches and Rainer at the same time. And the follow-up stun, wow! Team Prism is on fire, but can they dish out the damage? Everyone is really clumped up. Arthas falls, and there's the Void Prism on the right side, taking out half of Team Prism. That's really unfortunate. With that Gush initiate, I thought they could finish him off, but uh, didn't work out in the end. And now they're on the retreat. Have to save these remaining heroes at least. Another heal here by Rega. I think they should be getting away, but that was quite unfortunate. Now we have the third tribute for playing with pain. Yeah, the fight was uh, really interesting, but uh, at the exact right uh, second, there was the divine storm by Luby. Uh, Uther just pulled it off in the very right second because uh, he just cancelled the heroic of Falstead. So he wasn't able to dish out the damage. Yeah, and the Void Prison helped out immensely as well. And now they're just going for the middle fort. Uh, we still have two years on cooldown. Now Arthas is back. And I think uh, this kind of saved them now. Because now I feel like they're not going to go for the Nexus straight away. They're going to take out the top fort first and then play it safe. Um, just come back uh, with the boss next time and um, just retreat for now. Because if Arthas and Anoop would have been gone for a little bit longer, I think they're just going to push the Nexus. They would have just pushed the Nexus and uh, won the game right then and there. Yeah, might be a really good uh, engage now for... Ah, no. They don't have the Abath uh, Heroic up, so yeah, then they won't they're not really, They're not really moving in, uh, synchron um, in a synchronized fashion here. Yeah, Abathur pushing bottom lane once more with the easy camp, but uh, not really achieving a lot there. Yeah, the timing on the hard camp was a little bit bad here um, for playing with pain, but they do have the time to uh, grab their own boss if it does come up. Yeah, the thing uh, why they got the hard camp is just uh, they don't have to defend the enemy's hard camp now, basically. Yeah, yeah if they wouldn't have gotten it, you're right. Um, Prism would have just grabbed it and they would have run into a little bit of trouble. Um, so it, that was just not for pushing, but rather to not have the enemy get it. And we have level 20 now for uh, PvP. So they're gonna have an easy time pushing now. Taking and the last resurgence four. Resurgence on Stitches and Bolt of the Storm on Rainer and Zeratul. Big red button for Tychus and the Vine Hurricane for Uther. <laughs> And whoa, <laughs> they're just going for the uh, for the bottom lane in the, in the main camp now. Anoop moves in, nice stun, uh, getting the stun there on, uh, on Stitches, but he just moves in with the Devour and uh, grabs him. Now everything's just oh, so clumped up. Luby might go down, but Anoop Rock falls first. Stitches is killed in that engagement up there, and Zeratu also killed. Oh, if they I get th another hero here, they might make the turnaround happen. Yeah, uh, but it looks like... Uh the Zerg is, is gonna get away. Oh no, he was incredible. Uh, well, not quite. Thunder might run into a little bit of trouble with that Uther still remaining. And Rainer is on the run. Can they get a kill on Rainer? Yep, there's the stun. And that trump comes the body block. Arthas doing a really good job. A really nice fight here. Yeah. Uh, from Prism. Amazing but turnaround. Now they're also level 20. And we have Abathur pushing top now as well. Maybe they can take out bottom and um, kind of do the split push with Abathur on top. Uh, yeah, the top four is for sure gonna fall. Tigers can't do anything about it. It's gonna fall. Uh, stitches, I mean. <laughs> the 
Yeah, and Prism might even be able... Ah, uh, no. Tribute is spawning, so they won't go for the boss. Uh, they would have had the time, maybe, if they had Abathur with them to dish out some damage. Yeah, I think they should be going for the Tributes, but I mean, I I'm kind of surprised. I mean, they're with with this Abathur, they were able to, um, well, hold their ground against playing with Pain, even though they didn't grab a single Tribute so far. And it looks like they will get this middle fort as well. Um, maybe not. That's quite dangerous. Pain is moving in. Abath uh, Uther is there. Not quite ready with this heroic. Uh, we oh, just nice grab. And they're gonna get a noob. There's no way around it. He's just caught in the middle. Whoa! Uh, nice almost save. managing. Wow! With the double disengage. Wow. Really well done. That was amazing by Sarkhanic. Yeah. Oh, and barely missing the hook over there. A really nice do uh, nicely done. And now we have both teams probably going for their bosses, as it looks like. At the moment, uh, Prism is even ahead in levels. Of course, they are down in forts, but uh, my levels matter a little bit still. Uh, just healing up first, and now they're going f uh, for their uh, for their boss. Yep, you're right. Shall we see? I'm probably just gonna grab the hard camp efforts. Oh, and that's an amazing, amazing timing here on the tribute, and it's so close to the boss. So I think just sniping the boss, going for the tribute right away. But oh, it looks like they might be in trouble here with playing with pain, uh, moving in towards uh, the easy camp, and then just well, probably uh, ignoring the tribute and going for the nexus straight away. Yeah, they're going for the back door, but uh, Prism immediately going back, everybody, uh, except for Rega, obviously. Don't think PvP has the power now uh, to kill them, actually. But maybe with the Grave Golem they have a chance. Already um, Abathur uh, heroic up. They might just gone, uh, go in with the Odin. Yeah, I think they're waiting for a big mistake on uh, on the boss, and there comes the Divine Storm. But they get away, and whoa, nice Void Prison, getting three heroes. Oh, and the Shock and All was pulled off too early. Now a lot of trouble for Anubarak, but nice. Uh, yeah, amazing heal here on the copy, and they're doing a really good job just defending everything. And Arthas is the first one to fall, the copy will fall as well. And uh, now it's just four against five. Um, they might run into a little bit of trouble. Oh, the boss! The boss just takes it out by himself. Yeah, really nice uh, strate uh, strategic decision here from PPP, trying to fight as long as possible so the grave golem can simply um, kill the enemy core. Yeah, he he does a decent amount of damage. Yeah, and um, if if your team is completely occupied with uh, dealing with the enemy team. Um, getting that, getting that good timing. Just, I mean, you you see how it works. All right. Um, I was I was really surprised that um, uh, Prison did such a good job to um, hold their ground here against playing with pain. I mean, this is third place against last place in the standings right now, and uh, they did an amazing job. I got to say. And uh, even with that Abrather, I mean, he, he was he was pretty good, um, just pushing down top and bottom lane, um, getting that experience that they missed in the team fights, and he really made up. And I think this is this is how you should play Abrather uh, if you if you do gonna choose him. Yeah, and we talked about it beforehand as well. Uh, every always um, the comebacks are happening, just as we saw. Uh, in the end, it wasn't enough, but. They are happening in the end game. It's so easy to just come back with one team fight, and if the enemy team doesn't have enough forts, they are just gonna lose as well because of the downtime is so long. All right, are they ready for the second draft yet? I don't think so. Okay. Not quite, not quite. So, um, how do you think Prism should uh, change it up now to to make it happen? Mm, I think they had a lot of trouble dealing with Uther and um, Zeratul there because Falstead really like was 
most of the times unable to perform his uh, shock and awe because of either the stun of Uther or the Void Prism. Um, so they have to play a little bit better there uh, regarding the timing of the shock and awe. Mm -hmm. And I think um, they had a, had a lot of good ancestral healings. But I don't yeah, think Rigger they... Yeah, always did a good job on the retreats. Um, in the actual engagements, I wasn't too sure about it. I mean, he, often he would heal the, the mirror, the clone. And I don't know if that's really that useful. I mean, sure, if he's the only one that's uh, tanking any damage, then go for it. But other than that, I always go for the real heroes first. Yeah. Um... Uh, PPP just told me they'll need uh, two or three minutes. Alright, so. then uh, we're gonna go into a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with um, game two between Team Prison versus Playing with Pain here on the Heroes Premier Week, uh, Premier League Week <laughs> four, uh, Week 6. We'll be right back.
Hey guys, we're back with the Heroes Premier League Week 6 in Europe. I'm G-Shark, with me is Ghoul TV, and we're getting started with the second game here, Team Prism versus Playing With Pain. And they're already in the drafting process, and we have the first bands and picks already. So Team Prism banned Tassada, we have Playing With Pain banning Tychus, uh, Tyrael. And uh, first pick went uh, to Anoop. Then Arthas and Tychus for playing with pain. Yeah, pretty solid uh, this time once more. Um, I could already bet that Team Prism is going for Uther. Ah, oh, damn it! I should have said it earlier. Uh. <laughs> well, um, I d I do like that counter pick because I mean Uther was a big enabler for playing with pain in the first match. Now going for Rainer. Um, also solid, solid lineup. Um, I think playing with pain. Uh, they're gonna wait with uh, with their support pick now since uh, Ufer's already taken. Um, maybe go for some of these really good assassins first. Yeah, uh, I uh, think they could go for bloodlust since they have um, Tychus this time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would be viable. Uh, but since they don't have um, Rainer to choose and uh, Tessada, they could actually go for uh, something like Illidan. But, uh, yeah. Just a possibility they don't actually have to go for Bloodlust. We had the, fir uh, we had the same bands in uh, the first match, right? Tessada and uh, Tyria? Oh, I can uh, look it up. Uh. Um. The first bands were, yeah, exactly. Same bands, okay. And Nova is gonna be their pickup. Okay. So, uh, as I said, just going for a strong assassin, uh, since they do have that uh, possibility, since uh, the support is already picked for playing with pain. And Nova, um, well, I mean, we can't really tell anything right now, since they're, they're still missing their. Um, two main initiator, or at least the main initiator, and without that, it's, it's hard to tell what their strategy is going to be. Yeah, um, they could go for an, a bruiser kind of uh, hero, but yeah, uh, on the other hand, uh, since they don't have a noob to choose from. Yeah, they're gonna go for Kerrigan, okay. So Bruiser again, um, she might be able to roam with a potential Rega maybe, not sure yet. Mm. I mean, if, if they are gonna pick Rega, I don't see that they're gonna go for Bloodlust, even though they do have Tigers, um, since they, they do need that healing and yeah. uh, with Kerrigan and Nova pick, they already have so much damage. And we have Chen uh, for Team Prism. Yeah, quite interesting. And Abathur again. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, their Abathur did an amazing job. Well, I felt like he did an amazing job. No, not too sure if you agree with that. But, yeah, I, I'm agreeing, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, he always copied a new Blast game. I think he's going to do the same here. And we saw that amazing possibility that you get with a double Anoop. Uh, with a double uh, double initiate or a, well double stun, that was pretty cool. But they just didn't dish out the damage in time. And this time around, they can go for the double stun, um, get Rainer up front, and then um, just go for Divine Storm again on Uther. Yeah, um, I don't uh, completely understand Chen in this uh, combo. Uh, I don't really see the point of going for him. Of course, uh, they need some kind of, um, yeah, sustain. But mm -hmm. um, normally, Uther is enough. To be honest, I've never seen yeah. Chen picked in a pro game before. So I have no idea how this is going to play out. And we have Rega, of course, um, as the final pick for playing with Pain. I mean, they could have also gone for... Uh, for Brightwing, but I don't know, I feel like Rhaegar can maybe, well, he has a little bit better survivability, yeah. um, and 
Well, I mean, I, I do like uh, Rhaegar as a solid pickup for playing with pain. Yeah, just uh, they they'll probably go roaming. Um, since we are playing on Garden of Terror, um, roaming normally is quite strong, and they can easily go for some camps as well. Uh, Prism might go for a roam with. Uh, well, they can't be roaming with two heroes normally, uh, so they have to be one hero with Avatar on them if they want to roam. What I would actually suspect because they have pretty good heroes for this. For example, a Nubarak can uh, has a good stun and good initiate, so that might be a possibility for them. Just waiting. Yeah, just yeah. really don't know how Shen works into all of this. Yeah, we're gonna see. Um, I'm not completely sure as well. But of course, with the uh, with his uh, barrel on level twenty, uh, level ten, um, he has a lot of displacement, so um, he can be kind of a counter against Kerrigan. But yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe he'll be able to uh, keep her away from the fight because she's one of the m main damage sources, consistent yeah, damage sources. I mean, playing with pain has so much damage output uh, with this composition. Um, Arthas is pretty good um, for, uh, for a tank. Then we we have Tigers, of course, um, pretty solid. And Nova and Kerrigan, I mean, they can they can dish out a lot of damage. And Rhaegar just to um, well support everyone, uh, keep them healed up. So uh, I, I do like the composition for playing with Pain, and we'll have to see how Team Prism uh, makes it happen uh, with Abathur and Shen in there. Uh, they do have Rainer and uh, Uther and Anoop as as the well, I guess the the main composition of their of their team. Yeah, um, it's going to be quite interesting how they want to deal with the Nova. Uh, Shen is a valid pick. Uh, to deal against her because especially because of his uh, W with and his E he can uh, easily um, yeah just show uh, where Nova is and decloak her all right let's get started with the game on the left side as team blue we have plane with pain and they have Kerrigan and uh, at, um, Tychus and Arthas and uh, we have uh, in the middle lane we have a Nova and up top we have Rhaegar. As our red team we have Uther, Abathur, Raynor, Shan and Anubarak. Yeah. So um, just a solid uh, spread on all three lanes. Uh, no ganking incoming, all too soon at least. Yeah. Um, at least we shouldn't see it, I think. Yeah. Uh, Shen and Nubarak together in the early game can be quite strong, but they lack a little bit of damage. They would definitely need uh, a noob with them to be able to kill someone quickly. Yeah, so far everyone's staying back. Um, Arthas and uh, Arthas and Nova just waiting here um, alongside uh, Tychus, and they can they can dish out a lot of damage. But uh, Utho is also just waiting. So so far no real engagements down here. Everybody's being so defensive. Yeah, uh, and Shen going for the easy camp immediately. So they'll have a little bit um, of a good time there. Uh, when they try to push bottom. Oh wow, and there comes the initial engage. Arthas tries to body block Uther, and there comes the nice block uh, with the hologram. Amazing work here by Hysterica. Yeah. They yeah. waited patiently, and it paid off in the end. Yeah, normally it's like uh, the one who uh, waits um, longer wins. But yeah, just uh, being patient. Um, often pays off in such situations. Yeah, I think Abathur uh, should, should be taking one of the uh, top or bottom lane uh, by himself again, like he did last time. Um, but not so far. Ooh, wow. A pretty nice steal there by PPP. Oh. Yeah, amazing steal. They get a little bit lucky. I mean, uh, Shen could have seen this and also uh, we had um, we had a loop on the well, on the prowl there, so I think both of them could have seen this and stopped it just in time, but 
Um, yeah, Nova and Arthas got a little bit lucky grabbing that easy camp there. Yeah, and we already have the first seats being grabbed here by PPP. And it looks like, yeah, Prism is gonna get some as well. But so far, um, I think PPP is a little bit ahead, of course, in experience wise, but as well with uh, more seats on their bank. Yeah, I think they are. Um, with Anoop uh, taking this bottom bottom lane, I think he can uh, just um, counter Kerrigan really well. I mean, uh, she doesn't really she doesn't really have the possibility to push up. Ooh, nice stun there. Yeah, um, one on one with Kerrigan against Nubarak normally isn't that much fun, but they don't. She doesn't really have to do anything, so just staying away, uh, alive will be enough for the next uh, two or three minutes. Yeah, the only thing I'm, I'm a little bit surprised of is that uh, Rainer is not bolstering uh, the remainder of, of Prism here. Oh wow, there's a, ooh, there's a surprise attack here as they're taking the easy cap and it's, they're gonna steal it and get Uther. Wow, what an amazing timing for playing with Pain. They just waited so patiently and I feel like Team Prism has a hard time spotting, uh, spotting the cloaked characters. No one always sits on top of them. And they don't really, they don't really notice whatsoever. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, Nova adds so much uh, map uh, control for PPP right now. And yeah, now they, they, they pushing middle. I think they really need uh, Rainer to uh, support the main team here and just have Abathur uh, stop Rhaegar in top lane by himself. I think, well, once the once the mobs are gone, at least he should be able to handle it by himself. Yeah. And the Nubarak has to be a little bit careful now, but he has the, like almost the best disengage in the game, so um, he won't have that many problems. Yep, and we got the first uh, Garden Terror attacking on the bottom lane. And let's see if they're gonna do the split. Rega's still staying on top, so uh, I think they're gonna go for the split attack here. <laughs> Good stun, but and then they don't have anyone to initiate. Yeah, it's still one level ahead, so they won't have a too hard time fighting there. But of course, Rega is not with them, and Nova is going for the Abathon right now, as it looks. Ah, no. But, yeah, she turns around. No, she tries to come in from top. Shen, oh, she needs to get he needs, he needs to get out of there. And they're really missing the stun from uh, from Anoop right now. Arthas comes in from the bottom, tries to get the kill here on, on Uther, but oh, uh, he has, he can just take so much damage. He might be going down though. Uh, ooh. Really cl a clutch heal in the end, but I th it, as it looks like, before he's gonna fall. Uh, yeah, they're having a little bit of trouble getting in, in the right position here, but uh, same with Team Prism. I mean, they're they're fighting uh, without their Abathur. He, I don't think he took any control of any of the characters right there, trying to hold his own against Rega on top. Yeah, Rega top is uh, probably mainly for experience because they want to get level 10 as fast as possible and as soon as they have it I think they are gonna go group up now. Yeah, they're a little bit ahead now. They do have level 10 right there and with that they're just gonna take the next seat. Yeah, uh, Rega went for ancestral healing. Uh, every other uh, heroic is pretty standard. Um, so yeah, just as we expected, no bloodlust. Going for the easy camp now and yeah, hard camp for Prism, quite good decision for them. But I think PvP is just gonna get every camp on the bottom side of the map. Yeah, that steal was amazing, really good timing for it. And now they're just gonna push down this this bottom gate. I think the gate might actually fall then, it, sh they should be retreating because uh, now Prism is back, they're back to defend. And they have the, uh, they have the boss on top uh, taking out the, the top lane. Yeah, and still no level 10 for Prism, so they really cannot fight. They have to just stay back and PPP will have a pretty easy time just uh, pushing with the easy camp. They literally just have to guard it. Yeah, no real initiate here for either yeah. of these teams. Um, I think they just wanted to take down the gate and um, should be leaving soon now because everyone is in position to stop this and they have Abathur just putting out so much pressure in the top lane. Yeah, going for promote again. Um, being able to push really really hard with the uh, camp. 
Yeah, and yeah, it, I mean, he's, he's really exposed up there. Uh, I think uh, he was even in sight for playing with pain, so they should see that he's in position, and uh, yeah, he, he knows, okay, they're, they're getting out of there, he needs to uh, get back to the safety of his own nexus, and that's what he's getting uh, doing right away. Yeah, and he even went for mule, so uh, they'll have an easy time just repairing all of the forks. I like this, actually, because you have a lot of pushing potential and a lot of defense. On the other hand, so really, he's doing everything himself. Ooh, Ooh. Next engagement coming in here at the easy camp. Ah, not just, not quite in time to catch it. But there's the divine storm. Uh, not getting too many players there. And it's and three against five. Wow. But they're still gonna get away, maybe. Ah, oh, no. Pain is gonna fall here quite soon. Lublino still being out of position, but yeah, Nuberon falls. Ah, no. Nope. He's getting healed back up. But Arthas, he's right in the middle of everything there, but Shank can't stop and no body block possible for that. It's just so much disarray for both of these teams. The nuke will fall in the end. And uh, I feel like they can put on the counter pressure now. Uh, five, uh, four v four, but um, Kerrigan is the only one missing here. And uh, this should give, give him a little bit of space to uh, at least stop these uh, easy camp in the middle lane. Yeah, St still okay engagement here for PPP, even though they got ganked three v five, so quite nicely played out there. Normally you would just lose at least two of them, but they only lost uh, Kerrigan and were able to dish out enough damage. Yeah, but that, that was a really messy fight, I gotta say. Um, yeah. Just so much back and forth, no one really taking the upper hand. And uh, Team Prism had to go back to their, um, to go back to their lower lane to defend. Um, they already took a lot of damage down there, and now it's not everyone engaging here up top uh, in the middle lane, and they're taking uh, they're taking so much damage here in this middle four. It's gonna fall. Um, they might just be able to go for the seats now, and it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Yeah, they're gonna grab the seats. Um, luckily enough for prison, the timers for the camps are not yet up. Otherwise, they would have gone for the uh, for the camps as well. Just to put on more more pressure and then go in with the plant on another lane. Yeah, uh, the plant is already growing now for PPP, and it looks like um, Prism is gonna get one as well uh, after they get the boss and some of the smaller camps there. Yeah, both grabbing the plants, and the first plant is already growing. Looks like Kerrigan was shelling it. So Kerrigan as the Garden Terror. Yeah, it's uh, quite okay, um, but yeah, they're still gonna have enough damage with uh, Nova, obviously. And oh, Shen might be maybe? in trouble. Office is already in position, but oh, he moved out. Got a little bit lucky there, and they're gonna push top. Uh, I mean, this fort uh, was was supported by Avatar before, so um, it's it's in good shape. Uh, no damage taken yet, but it's it's definitely gonna fall. I mean, what can uh, what can Prison do right now to stop it? Um, do have their own Garden Terror coming, but it's only coming down the middle lane, so it's not gonna be here in time to stop this top four from falling. Yeah. The problem is always you want to be pushing with uh, Garden Terror, but on the other hand, if you push, uh, if the enemy team pushes with the team, uh, it's so much stronger. Yeah. And now they're really, really missing that uh, initial, uh, that other player to help their um, help their own defense here. Normally, uh, Abitha is able to um, put down his ultimate uh, evolution, but he doesn't uh, want to go for it. They're just probably gonna wait for the Garden Terror uh, to fight as five. Yeah, the top four is definitely gonna fall. And now Abitha is returning, and they really need a good, good stun right there, stopping the Garden Terror for a little bit longer. And Shen's moving in, trying to get the kill there on Arthas, but Arthas is such a bad choice here uh, to engage. And whoa. Okay, so Garden Terror ended for PPP. Uh, they're gonna move back a little bit, they won't be uh, able to end it right there. Good stun uh, from Anubarak. Uh, but it looks like the double Anubarak are still strong and going there. Oh, oh Arthas is just fall. sandwiching everyone here. Uh, Rhaegar goes down and Anub can't get away. Good body block there by Arthas, but he does the deep dive, gets off. And what? We have Chen moving in. There's the claw by Kerrigan and it looks like they got the kill on him as well. And it's 4v4, but Abathur, uh, 
Well, he's pushing through with Raynor. And then, well, they already took down the bottom fort. Uh, maybe if, if a noob and, and Uther can stop everyone on top here, but it's 4v2, I doubt that they can. Noob might get away. Uh, they're gonna get away and they'll be able to defend there. But uh, <laughs> at least 1% down. Uh, yeah. That was quite a ballsy move here by Prison, uh, going for the counter-attack, but they did get ahead in levels because of that. Yeah. Really nice move, actually. Yeah. Um, One problem the they have is now that their top fort uh, is down and the bottom fort, uh, well, the, the gates are already down, the towers are down, so that's gonna fall next. Um, they're already facing catapults. Uh, in one of these lanes, and I do feel like playing with Pain has the better team engagement, so they, they're gonna have an easier time to just stop or get this next fort to fall. Yeah, um, by the way, we see uh, again 100% on the core of Prism. That's uh, because of the mule, obviously, from Abatha. Quite a nice skill, actually, for um, base trading. Yeah, really nice. I mean, uh, that way they can they can go for these base trades and make them happen uh, if they can somehow hold their own. I mean, I mean, they got they. I think they got a little bit lucky with uh, Aberfer and uh, Rain just free roaming there, because uh, uh, Flame of Pain could have just easily, um, yeah, easily Hearthstone back into their own nexus at least with one player and um, a little, little bit of counter pressure. Oh, nice focus here down, going down on Pain, but Ancestral Healing keeping him alive. And Prism is gonna fall a little bit. Yeah. Looks like. Pain does go down. And. Oh, Shen is the next one to fall, but can he. Oh, he actually stay, stays alive for a really long time there. And Rhaegar tries to stop. Uh, tries to stop Shen, but it uh, doesn't quite work out. Oh, Anoop with a nice follow up. Going for the deep dive to stop him. Oh, really nice kill there on uh, Luvi. Tangra just managed with the last uh, with his last um, beat to kill uh, Rega there. Pretty nicely done. And now we have uh, the hard camp still pushing with some locusts of uh, uh, for the top lane of Prism. Yeah, Abath is just doing such a really good job uh, with these lanes, with putting on pressure. Um, this top gate is, is going to uh, fall for sure. Yeah. And Cybex is defending mid, meanwhile, and they even have a big wave uh, in, at bottom right now. Promote is help, helping out a lot. I didn't expect this uh, skill to be that useful, but uh, yeah, Splendor is uh, showing us how to play with it. Really nice avatar. Now we have entire team prison going towards um, going towards the garden terror or uh, grabbing those last couple seats at least. And um, A terror has yeah, we have the counter push by playing with pain. Now they're gonna go five um, five players all in one lane, and maybe they can get a little bit lucky here. But we have oh wow, almost the entire <laughs> team of team prison waiting there in the bushes. Yeah, they desperately want to get an ambush, but may maybe they're gonna get the back door. Wow. They're gonna go for the back door. Let's see if they can make it happen. All the rogues are are uh, forced here. And it's already taking a lot of damage. 70% on the Nexus. Uh, Rainer might fall here. He's moving back, doing a little bit of a stutter step there. Shen is moving in from the top. Also doing a lot of damage. 30% on the core, but almost everyone is down. And Noob tries to uh, deep dive away from it. And Uther is doing a decent amount of damage on the Nexus, but yeah, 10%. Wow, Shen just dishing away 7%. I think they might be able to do it with that next engagement. Uh, I'm, meanwhile, Abathur is still pushing there. Yeah, uh, Abathur just uh, did his locusts, um, so he won't be able to kill it with locusts only. And PPP is moving in for the core now. It's wow, so close maybe now. But yeah, uh, still 20, 20 seconds second, down. 20 yeah. second cooldown. Uh, maybe, I mean, Uther is the first one to come out. Maybe if he uh, Divine Storms for a little bit longer. Oh wow, it's gonna be so damage. clutch. I think actually PvP is gonna be able uh, to kill this one. I just have to kill the mule for, uh, soon as well. Uh, uh, there's the mule. Rainer comes out. Uther comes out. Precision, uh, precision no, strike doing so much damage. 
Yeah, they're just gonna focus it down. They're just gonna oh. focus it down. 5%, 3%, 1%, and there is the GG. 2-0 for playing with pain. What a really close call in the end here. Incredible game. Just the core survives with 7% and then they are barely able to kill the enemy core. Really nicely done here from playing with pain. So close. But really good call as well from Prism uh, just to go in for the back door. Almost would have been enough.